Is it art or is it science? And if it looks this good, does it matter? Scientists at Heriot Watt University used lasers to simulate spinning black holes in the laboratory. This work is the response of the artist who was working alongside them. It's her version of making light travel slower than the speed of light and then making it vanish down a kind of cosmic plug hole. I spent most of my residency there probably just looking like I was doing nothing. So, and I, I chose not to take an office but to sit in the laboratory corridor, which wasn't very comfortable, and just every time someone was milling around or you know, got out their laptop, I'd just peer over and sort of sneak a view and ask questions. There's a tendency to think about art and science as being separate, but here's a work of art that obeys the laws of physics. And in fact, after this exhibition is over, it's going to be used in a scientific experiment. Researchers at Nottingham University will be using it to see if energy can be extracted from vortices like these. Elsewhere in the exhibition, art inspired by research into the waters off Scotland, including a coral reef in the Western Isles. The data and the information that these scientists gather has a great beauty to it and it is very tactile and sensory and um, it's been interesting for me talking with them about how we could represent that and asking them interesting questions like if you were to walk along the seabed at 600 metres depth off the coast of Mingle, what would it feel like and, and what would you see? Artist and Residence Programme, funded by the Leverhulme Trust, the artists didn't just watch, but worked with the scientists. The process involved a lot of design, discussion, sketching of ideas, um, and really much like science. Uh, I don't think it's that important that maybe the public really understands the details of what we're, we're doing in the lab. What I think is important is that the public have a good time, enjoy themselves, see something new, and learn something new maybe, and just get excited uh, about the science. More than a dozen artists are taking part in the exhibition. It's at the Summer Hall venue until mid-May to show that science is beautiful. Kenneth MacDonald, Reporting Scotland, Edinburgh.